Hello guys, welcome to my channel, next tutorial. My name is Khalil and today we're going to be doing a replacement screen on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime. This particular device, the LCD is damaged, not the digitizer in the outside, but this tutorial would work on either one if you have the digitizer or the LCD screen broken. So as you see right here, the bottom half of the LCD is cracked and you can't see anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the device, pull the back and the battery out so we can start with the replacement. You can use either a hair dryer or a heat gun. I'm going to be using a heat gun, but you want to set it on low, not too high, and you want to keep it not too close to the screen so it won't melt or fry the LCD inside. So you can do that all around so the adhesive will come a little bit loose so you can take apart the screen. Now we're going to be using this tool to lift up the screen and kind of loosen up and kind of take it apart from the frame. So you want to do it carefully. You want to make sure you don't want to force it so you won't crack anything either the LCD or the glass the outer glass and you don't want to kind of do it too fast so you want to do it kind of carefully and slow all around Once you are done, you want to lift up the screen from down up from the bottom of the screen and you want to be careful. Right here, you want to take that plastic piece off. You want to just gently lift it up. Then you want to take out the ribbon cable. Once you do that, you can just the screen just comes out. Then you can go ahead and start installing the new screen. Once you put the clamp back on place to hold the ribbon cable, just go ahead and close out the screen. And you want to press gently all around on the adhesive to hold the screen with the frame together. You want to do it gently, you don't want to press too hard so it won't crack any digitizer or the glass in the outer of the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in so we can check and make sure the phone is working. So you can go ahead and put the battery back in. Recommended if you let the phone cool down because you were heating it with the heat gun or a hair dryer. You want to you can let it cool down a little then do all this, but this should be okay. As you see the screen is fully functional. It just came on. You can check also the digitizer once it's all the way on to see if it's working. This is the end of our video for today. If you found it helpful to you and you want to see more repairs and reviews on my channel, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share my video with your friends and family. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.